Did you send Blacko something about pizza in Ohio? I did. Did you guys see that Ohio was named the best pizza state? I, I did, did not see that. Well, Do you have a favorite pizza? Um, all of them. <laughs> don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually haven't tried any of the Columbus stuff, so I had to give them some recommendations from my sources, who are my sisters, who live here. Yeah. So, so it's great to be around home and uh, so many places that you're familiar with. Yeah, definitely. It's like a quick hour and a half drive of 71 so a lot of people will be making the trip my sisters live in columbus so um i know i'm not technically home but i think just being in ohio always is very familiar and fun i've asked uh for be able to play in lower.com field and what you've heard about it and since you're familiar with the area and the place has gotten great reviews are you excited about that opportunity yeah definitely my sisters have been to a couple games and they say it's awesome um i think it's always like, exciting to have the opportunity to play in a new stadium so um i think it's gonna be fun and i always think like the midwest cities like bring the best atmosphere and columbus has been uh, good to the national team i think so i don't i think i've only played here once in my career okay. but it was pretty nice we beat Sweden, I think, if I recall. Yeah. 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 Um, Rose, is it nice for you to have kind of a blend of familiar and new faces in the attacking group? Um, yeah, I think there's, yeah, it is a nice blend of familiar and new, and I think all the new players have done a really good job, like, stepping in. I think everybody's in really good form in the league and coming in, so um, it's definitely a really fun group to play with. I'm sure you get this all the time, but how do you maybe approach it as someone who kind of bridges both groups of the seniority and also those who have a few caps or no caps? Yeah, I feel like the last time we kind of like went through this transition period, I was like one of the new players. So I feel like I kind of have that experience to um, kind of help usher the, the younger new players in. And um, hopefully I can... I don't know, teach them some things or they can learn from me or maybe they maybe they won't, but I don't know. Yeah. They're fun. I like them. Are you anxious to see if Aubrey can get uh, a cap here? Oh, I mean, yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I think it'd be incredible for her to like get her first cap in her home state. It'd be fun. It's nice having like somebody else who um, is familiar with the area and is from Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati are the best people ever. <laughs> um, yeah, I might be a little biased, but. But your high school rivals <laughs> kind of? Is yeah, I play, I played Aubrey my when I was a freshman. She was a senior, um, and we lost four to zero, but it's okay. She <laughs> she <told> us, <laughs> of course yeah. she did. Yeah. Rose, you talked about family coming down. I'm wondering, is Wilma making the trip down to Columbus? Yes, um, we might have a Wilma sighting tomorrow. Not at training, unfortunately. I wish, but um, yeah. Uh, you also. Um, Last time you were in Ohio, you started scoring some headed goals. I was wondering if you're looking to do that again. You seemed a little surprised in the press conference that that was your first goal that you scored in Cincinnati when you were at TQL. Um, yeah, I was a bit surprised. I feel like every time I've tried to score with my head, it just like bonks off in the other direction. So um, yeah, it was nice that it like went the direction that I intended it to that time. Be um, nice to score another <laughs> header. Blacko and Aubrey talked a little bit about one of the emphasis being breaking down a low block as an attacking midfielder. What's your role in that? And can you talk a little bit about how you're going to be trying to do that against Uzbekistan? Yeah, um, I think it's kind of going to be a little bit of everything. I think we got to move the ball, but at the same time, I think being creative and putting our stamp on the game is, um, is going to be important. I think there's a lot of ways to do it, and I think this will be really good um, practice and prep for qualifiers. I just think I feel like Midwest cities just like have the most pride in where they're from. Again, I might be biased, but um, so I just feel like every Midwest city we've like gone and played in, I've had the most fun, and I feel like it's like the loudest stadium. Everyone's so excited um, for us to be in their city and to get to play in their stadium. So um, I expect the same thing in Columbus. I think it's going to be very very fun. Um. I did. I have been to a Columbus Crew game in my time. Um, I don't really remember much besides that. <laughs> Rose is kind of uh, Go ahead, last one. Uh, being a star and inspiring young girls who want to be like you. And how, how much of that do you carry uh, with you and try to uh, yeah motivate and inspire kids? 
Yeah, I think I always say I know how important it was for me to have role models to look up to, Mia Hamm, Christine Lilly, Julie Foudy, all of them. Um, and I think it's cool that it's kind of come full circle and I'm able to give back to the sport in the same way that it's given to me. It's something I definitely don't take lightly and um, I think it's like an honor to have that kind of role. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Rosie. Appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.